I remember a number of years ago when Jim and I were first traveling together in the United States. We sat under a tree and shared a tangerine. He began to talk about what we would be doing in the future. Whenever we thought about a project that seemed attractive or inspiring, Jim became so immersed in it that he literally forgot about what he was doing in the present. He popped a section of tangerine in his mouth and, before he had begun chewing it, had another slice ready to pop into his mouth again. He was hardly aware he was eating a tangerine. All I had to say was, You ought to eat the tangerine section you've already taken. Jim was startled into realizing what he was doing. It was as if he hadn't been eating the tangerine at all. If he had been eating anything, he was eating his future plans. A tangerine has sections. If you can eat just one section, you can probably eat the entire tangerine. But if you can't eat a single section, you cannot eat the tangerine. Thich Nhat Hanh, The Miracle of Mindfulness Our current complex and interconnected world affords us many double-edged privileges over our ancestors. The wide availability of global foods and flavors due to modern production and distribution methods allow many of us, especially in developed nations, to eat whatever we want, whenever we want. We've become divorced from the natural rhythms, restrictions, and balancing processes of nature. We aim to experience as much pleasure as possible and wish for unpleasant experiences to end quickly. Similarly, we gravitate towards certain flavors while ignoring or even avoiding others. Ancient, indigenous, and ancestral health sciences like Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM, look to the natural world as a macro model for keeping the microsystems of our human bodies in balance. When you have an excess or deficiency in a key element, there is likely another item or process in the ecosystem that can support, mitigate, or remedy the situation. TCM views the world as a closed cycle of distinct energies that create, move, transform, and nourish one another. They define these five elemental characteristics as wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. Each corresponds with certain organs, processes, and pathways of the body. The health of the whole and of each organ and system is supported also by the five flavors, sour, pungent, bitter, sweet, and salty. Just as each element is necessary to keep the whole system in motion, each flavor is also vital to keeping the body in balance. Sour corresponds with the wood element and supports the health of the liver and gallbladder through its astringent, absorptive, and quickening properties. Sour foods like vinegar, lemons, pickles, and fermented foods prevent leakage of body fluids and help to maintain efficient flow and consistent rhythm of the body's systems. Pungent, also called acrid or spicy, corresponds with the metal element. Pungent foods support the health of the lungs and lower intestine by dispersing energy and stimulating circulation. Peppers, garlic, ginger, cinnamon, and horseradish also add flavor and function to any dish. Bitter corresponds with the fire element and supports the health of the heart and small intestine. Bitter foods include arugula, collard greens, parsley, and kale. Many people tend to avoid bitter foods unaware of their powerful and naturally detoxifying effects on the body. Imagine how well we could treat heart disease if we embraced eating more bitter foods. Sweet corresponds with the earth elements and helps to support the health of the spleen and stomach. Sweet foods help to tonify the body, lower energy, and relax tension. Keep in mind, however, there is a massive difference between artificial sweetness, which is truly hypersweet, versus the natural sweetness of foods like fruits and even meats and starches. 
Salty corresponds with the water element and supports the health of the kidneys and urinary bladder. Salty foods like seaweed and, well, salt, help to cool the body by maintaining or increasing moisture and are often said to soften and dissolve stagnant or blocked energies. To apply this towards nutrition, take a look at your current eating patterns. Which flavors might you be overindulging? Which ones are you missing? Experiment with new foods to experience what the world has to offer and give your body more of what it needs to function. When cooking and eating at home, use spices and herbs liberally. Research your family origins or another area of the world that sparks your curiosity and find out which plants grow native to the area. A dash of curry powder, fresh rosemary, or a chimichurri sauce can do wonders to a go-to recipe, enhance a bland food delivery order, or transform leftovers into gourmet meals. Remember, this world is yours. The solution to most of the problems that plague our micro and macro universes today are already available. You were born into a world of abundant wonders and fantastic flavors ready for you to taste. So open your mind, your heart, and your mouth. Take a bite of life.